Hi hey guys, welcome back to Blueprint Gaming. I am Jay, and we're doing here today with Let's Build a Zoo Dinosaur Island. Let's go ahead and let this play, and uh, we'll get things started here. We are waiting for seven research points to come in uh, to do this task here, build a dino liquor, and I probably will build a temporary pen. Uh, let's go cage. Uh, one, two. That doesn't matter. Something small. Um, and the reason why we're doing that is because we're going to have this uh, this dinosaur that we're making in the CRISPR. Uh, it will be done in two days. I just want to have a spot for it. All right. Inbound. New dinos. And let's wait these guys come in. The cage. We got to make them. Thank you for telling me I got a new dinosaur. All right. You guys like Marsh. Um, I kind of, hmm, I want to, I want to build something here, but I think I'm going to leave that open and let's build it here on the, how much space do you guys need? You need animals. Fifty-six. Ah, uh, there is territory space. Thirty. All right, so you're fine. All right, let's build a marsh pen. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think is fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I do want to have a conversation here guys, because today I'm sitting down, I'm going to record the rest of this limited series. It's, it's going to be a limited series at this point. Uh, we're going to let this run for, or probably should left the room for a subway. Ah, oh well. Um, so yeah, this will definitely be a limited series. Uh, I've come to that conclusion. Uh, so we will be wrapping, I will be wrapping this one up today, recording the last uh, five episodes, including this one. To have this wrap up at episode number 12. And then if you've been waiting for Spellcaster University for me to do the last challenge, it's probably going to be the next series I do on this channel, unless some game comes out between now and then. Um, all right, so you guys are good to move. Animals. Uh, so if you want to see uh, the rest of this play on um, after I wrap up this series, by all means, uh, definitely... Uh, go to Steam, grab this game for yourself, and give it a try. It is really fun to play, very relaxing. Um, well, I say very relaxing. The This whole entire micromanagement thing of, uh, of animals, I think there is a way in the base game to manage this automatically, but for... Uh, I don't really... I'm not a big fan of me managing this myself. So I don't know if there's something in the tech tree uh, here with the Dinosaur Island that allow you to, you know, to uh, auto-manage, but... Uh, this game could really, really use an auto manage because the larger you grow, the more it just, it does become a lot to maintain. All right. Oh, we didn't. Whew. Sorry guys. My first day, <laughs> it's my first day on the job. Uh, forgetting to give these guys stuff. Oh, they don't have water. All right. There's water. Let's add enrichment. I think we were doing just blue balls and water sprinklers. Build, I need amenities for the water pump. All right, good to go there. Um, I want to, I think we're doing, I think I was doing jungle grass. So let's do jungle grass here. All right. Cookie vendor record. I love seeing records. All right. So that takes care of that. We do have the seven points for the dino liquor. So let's go grab that. Uh, another paleontologist thing. Ooh, extended hours. 12 points. All right. We'll just let the points stack up. We'll see if we, we'll see what we want to do a little bit later. All right. So you're heading research points. Please close. And tons of cash. Um, I want to go world maps in progress. 
in progress. Uh, is this a new look? I think this is a new location. I don't remember this one being active last time. It could have been here. I just don't remember it. You're at 11%. 36. Okay, so we don't have any new dinosaurs waiting to be... Dis okay, so everything's fine there on that front. Nothing new to come in. We're just waiting on the CRISPR, you know, and burning, you know, time. Um, whew, we're just making tons of cash. How is... It'd be nice if I could see, like, yesterday's statistics here. Um, yeah, it would be nice to see like yesterday statistics. All right. What are you telling me Add animals? Cause I have one empty pen. Okay. That's fine. I have applications for what? I don't know. Um, which reminds me, I should probably take a look at this. Um, janitors, how we doing? All right. We have six janitors with one extra. That's perfect. Uh, animal keepers. Oh, we don't have any animal keepers on this stuff and they're all taken. All right. So who's here? All right, Keaton, you got these two. Um, all right, honey, I'm going to take you off that one. I'm going to put you over here. And who is that? Redhead Columbus, you got this one. All right. Uh, let's do that's, that's definitely hire another animal keeper. Hopefully we have one ready to go Park staff animal keeper Oof, 14 applicants. Hopefully I, I better get somebody good um, Work ethic you're terrible get out of here Oh, you're actually not bad Nicholas you're hired mm, No, keep the keep the pool open All right, Nicholas you can free range for right now I, it's not enough points to make me want to go to the research hub. Just saying. All right. I think if everything's under control, oh, we got to put the dino liquor. All right. So actually this is not going to go according to plan. Uh, let's just put you down somewhere. Let's go to facility shop. Dino liquor. Ooh, I like that building. Um, Just put you up here for right now. How do I rotate? Forget how to rotate R. No. Uh, that is the right mouse click. That rotates. All right, down a clicker. Give me extra. Uh, higher. Well, if you're gonna twist my arm and make me hire this poor person, I'll hire this poor person. All right. So all my objectives done. What am I missing? Add animals, which I know. Enrichments. Who's missing enrichments? Just too many of you. That's the problem. All right. Looks like a two males can go. All right. That fixed my enrichment problem. Cool. There's a birth somewhere. I don't really. I wish there was a way to turn off. Like, I really don't need to be alerted when there's births. Like, it is what it is. Oh, food. We didn't fix the food for the gators. Um, I spam shit off. Actually, I want to say, I, the one thing I really don't like, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I really don't like, so I guess I should probably get into, start getting into like my analysis of this DLC. I'm not sure what it currently rates on steam. I know when I bought the DLC, it was rated positive, but it wasn't like overwhelmingly positive or mostly positive. It was just positive, which probably means this is on probably the, the brink one uh, i'm not a big fan that you can't mix the dinosaurs and the animals i mean i could get over that but it's also just the lack of content like it's just like this is like content for someone who's like a major dinosaur fan um the kind of fun you know uh it just there's no crossover some of the stuff that i liked about the base game is not here in the in the dinosaur dlc so for me I'm pretty neutral on this update. Most of the times when I get a DLC, I usually I'm pretty high on them. Uh, this one, I'm very neutral. Um, there's nothing here that's making me, I don't know, making me really want to recommend this. Uh, I still think it's an okay, relaxing game, but um, 
I mean, if you like dinosaurs, you like this kind of thing, then maybe it's for you. Uh, but I just don't think this is for many gamers. Let's, let's be honest. And I don't want to turn you guys off from the rest of this series. I'm going to give it my full best effort the rest of the way out. Don't get me wrong. I just want to be honest with you guys where I, I kind of stand as my review. And my review, like I said, we're kind of, I'm in the middle of the road. I'm kind of neutral. Um, there's things I wish I would. Um, all right, let's click this look weird looking dinosaur. There we go. Yeah. Um, put you right here for right now. Use well, you're a little bit of a big one, aren't you? Uh, death metal inspiration, <laughs> King Sapphire. I sing well. Oh, sorry, I sing well. <laughs> I sing very, very evil music. Oh, do you now? And to inspire fear, I need to feel fear. Will you let me enter an enclosure with a dinosaur so I can connect with the fear of primal? <laughs> I will sign a waiver just in case I get eaten. Are you kidding? Um, well, I mean, there's no, you know what? Let him feel free. You know what? Let him, let him, we'll see what happens. King Sapphire destroyed mines and decimated eardrums in the most recent European tour. We saw their one-off show in Oslo, Oslo, and we can and we can only say that metal has never felt so crushing. The overbearing sense of doom was almost tangible. This was the heaviest, darkest set that we have ever seen in our long history of reviewing live bands. King Sapphire himself said he took inspiration from the lumbering beasts of Dinosaur Island and visit them to mediate on what true fear and helplessness felt like. All we know is death metal just got heavier and we were lucky enough to witness it. Um, so I do, do I not get a boost from this? Do I not like get like, I don't know. I don't get anything from it. I guess it's just, I don't know. Um, uh, I wish there was like pros and cons to decisions like that. Um, I mean, neat story, but I prefer to have some ammo rating up plus two. Oh, I didn't fix the food stuff. All right, so you are. You prefer grassland, which is great. All right, grassland it is. All right, so what I want to do is build. All right, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is fine. Ah, uh, that's gonna be enough, big enough for him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, hmm. Go right there. Let's edit this enclosure. Uh, all right, so make it like that. Let's move you. All right, you need water. Tons of crossover, you should be good for a long time. All right, and enrichment, let's get you the ball and the sprinkler. All right, takes care of that dinosaur or that crossbreed of a dinosaur. So it has that body with that head. Interesting. Where's grassland? So I guess the animal gets their enclosure by their body type. We're going with that. We're going with that. That's what we're going with. All right, let's go jungle. All 
All right, so this is where things get a little interesting because what I want is a path. Uh, what do we use? We use this Aztec floor. If we go straight down. That's three. So like that. Let's go ahead and move this cookie thing. Up here with the other ones. Yeah, we're gonna do some remodeling here, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and grab a bench. We'll grab the big, uh, let's get a brown bench. I can only take so much dinosaur themed stuff. <laughs> All right, so pathway. And let's get that by a bin. Oh, we already covered by a bin. Well, let's get another one in. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to cancel. We're going to cancel a lot of this and we're going to make this a big, like, uh, I don't know, kind of like a rest area type, but we also don't want it like the animals to be observed from this side. Um, thank you for tons of cash that I have no idea what I'm going to do with. Um, yes, yeah, so let's do that. Let's go ahead and do grass. Oh, look, it's like, who's that Pokemon kind of thing. Um, I made a collectible card game. Did you now <laughs> that was turned into a video game? Did you now? And then an anime. <laughs> It was about tiny monsters that could fit in your pocket. Oh my goodness. Uh, would you let me take pictures of your dinosaurs to make a similar game about giant monsters? Uh, yeah, we have nothing to lose. Go ahead. Let's see. Dinomon, the brand new game from legendary creator. Uh, I'm going to butcher that if I even try to say it has taken the world by storm. The giant depicts dinosaurs as monsters, which have set out to destroy the world while the game is said to have increased interest in dinosaur island people are now more afraid of these gentle giants than ever before are they gentle giants i mean they can crush us very easily all right so that's like that all right what is this building this is the research hub all right so let's do let's move this I uh, like that, right? Let's get, let's, let's do that. All right. So if we do, is there a staff entrance? Oh, we didn't unlock any staff entrance. Can we unlock one real quick? Uh, staff entrances. Oh yeah, we can unlock one. 10, do I have 10? Oh, I don't have 10 points yet. All right, let's unlock a staff, a staff entrance. We'll have a staff thing here. No, let's not do a staff thing. Let's not worry about it. Let's not worry about it. Let's do a solo there. All right, and then... Let's destroy some of this stuff. Destroy, destroy. Um, let's move you right there. Destroy. Uh, I don't want bins. I just wanted to delete that one. Thank you. All right. So what do I want to do here? Right. This one I want to go. I'm gonna move this on the corner like that. Give him some shelter there. All right, then I gotta make a boundary to stop these guys from going every which way. Cause I don't want them to view from up here. So how do I stop people from going that way? Um, let's see, let's get some shops. Let's do dino liquor here. Ooh, this thing's huge. 
right. Uh, Keeper dude, I need you out of there. I need you out of there yesterday. Oh, now just more of you guys. Oh my goodness. All right. Um, let's get some trees back there first. I don't like small trees. I like my big trees. Why is everybody back here? What is wrong with you? Come on, get out of there. You're killing me. This is how a game just drives me to drink. <laughs> I need some real dino liquor. All right. All right, there you are. Thank you. How did you get back there? Oh, there's empty space right there. Are you kidding me? I rotate this. Oh, okay, it's made a little different shade. No, stay out. Um, that's all the trees I own. All right, so I create a barrier that way. Um, I wonder what happens if I just put this thing on top of people. I mean, what's the worst that could happen, right? All right, prehistoric liquor. All right, let's get some benches down. Put some tools behind the bench. And, ah. Uh, no offense, people, but I cannot wait till you're kicked out of my park here. You're too much in my way. Um, I guess, I, can I squeeze in a restroom? No, not there I can't, but I probably squeeze in a restroom like that. There we go. Yes, yes, I'm making tons of money, that I know. All right, so if they walk around this grass area, it's fine because I have a little rust area thing here. So I'm okay with that. Bench. Bench. Uh, let's get some more. Too big. Small ferns. I don't want a fern beside a bench. Lilacs. All right, there we go. All right, now I kind of like that area a little better. A uh, little area for them to walk around because there is a little rust hut. I should probably put more of those down somewhere. Uh, will it be here? Probably not. All right, so guys, we are at the end of this episode. Uh, once again, we're gonna wrap this up. Four more episodes left, limited series. Like, If you wanna see this game the whole way to its end, you know, pick it up on Steam yourself, give it a go. It definitely is a relaxing game. You can just sit back and chill. Um, the only thing that may not be as relaxing is over time when you have too many enclosures going on. And you allow your animals to breed or grow. You can let them grow old if you want. Uh, they will naturally you have to do some micromanaging to keep them underneath uh, a certain level or in that you'll demand of which you can see up here right now with uh, or enrichment problems and even water problems you can have. I'm not seeing too many water problems here with dinosaurs, but uh, I definitely had it when I played the base game. But guys, with that said, if you're joining the series so far, do me a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Turn on the notification bell, leave a comment, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.